Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to have a feature for ease of access um, to enable the magnifier. If you have some eye problems, um, some difficulty reading on a screen because things are often too small and you don't want to uh, you know, bloat everything so that everything is always big but you only um, have access to that when you want to. Well. In Windows 10, you got a nice feature called the magnifier, which is available. It's it's a feature that's been in Windows for a long time, but through each version of Windows, they made it a little better. So you can go into the search in Cortana, the bottom left, and click and just type magnifier, and you'll see magnifier desktop apps. And here, automatically, it's going to start. You usually start at 100%, which is the typical screen size, but you can, of course, choose how big things are and you'll see by default is by moving your mouse pointer around you can actually make things much much bigger and just move around now for those that like me don't like this option because this option has one flaw is that unless you know where an item is located you can have some problems finding it because you have to move around and you don't see what's outside the field of view you can go and choose another mode that's called lens. Lens means that you'll have the same magnifying, but it's like moving a magnifier on the screen itself. And there you can see all the icons. And so what's nice with this is that if you're not, um, if you, you find want to find something that you're not sure where it is, you actually have already a nice view of your screen. And you can just go there to have a better view of that option. Uh, and this works everywhere. So if you uh, typically start a browser, say you start a browser, you can use this everywhere, even in uh, you know the browser mode, which is nice. You also have another option. The other option is to use the f docked view. The docked view is also nice because the docked view, what it does is create a part at the top of the screen where you have a magnified view of your mouse pointer's position. So if you move your mouse pointer, the screen stays put, but you can view under the mouse pointer and close to the right and left of the mouse pointer, everything is magnified so that you can actually view all of that in big, uh, you know, in much bigger view, basically, uh, magnified view. And it stays always at the top, so it could be, you know, less of a problem. And, um, I, you know, moving the screen around sometimes for some people also, uh, maybe you get a little nauseous. So having these options available is really nice also. Now, um, also, of course, when you click the magnifying glass, you always have access to that menu here. And it has different options also that you can click for, like uh, set how much view changes when zooming in or out. Uh, so instead of, you know, moving from 100%, 200%, 300%, you can have it change slower or faster depending on what you want. You have the color inversion, you have follow, follow mouse pointer, follow keyboard focus, have magnifier, follow the text insertion point. So if you have to enter text somewhere, for example, magnifier will focus on that. And of course, you can turn it off by clicking the little X on the upper right corner of the magnifier window. And that's how it works. Another feature, if you go in the bottom right to the notifications, notifications, all settings, go into ease of access. Uh, of course, on the left side, you still have that magnifier option. When you turn it on, it turns on the magnifier option, depending on the view that you want. But what's cool is that you can, you have access directly here. Now you had access to invert colors, but here you have an, an access of something that's nice. It's called Start Magnifier Automatically. If you turn that on, every time you boot up Windows 10, your magnifier will be there and will be started at its settings that you do want it to have it. So it's really nice because this is, you know, in the past versions of Windows, uh, Windows 7 and uh, earlier, the magnifier could not start automatically. You had to start it if you want to use it. And some people with, you know, uh, difficulties and uh, viewing difficulties or reading difficulties had, uh, you know, a problem because it had to start. So often they would use a third-party software. Well, now that's automatic in Windows 10. So it's a nice option for that. 
So basically, that's where you get all of the information. If you need to use a magnifier, if you need to have things, you know, bigger because you have some um, viewing uh, disability, if you have, you know, maybe uh, some uh, high problems or disease, at least you have this option that uh, will enable you to view and maybe be able to use a computer that uh, would be more difficult if you had not had that option available. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Um, typically, we post videos every day. That's why you want to follow us. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. And, um, you know, if you have comments, questions, suggestions, maybe problems, why not share it with us? We'll try to help you if we can. And hopefully, you will come back to our channel. Thank you for watching.